Hey guys, welcome to day 103 of my carnivore journey. Thank you guys. And if I sound a little down today, again, um, if you didn't catch last night's um, update, I am coming down with something. I think it's just a cold. Um, nothing major, you know, um, believe it or not. Uh, seems like I'm handling things well. This is my first time ever being sick during carnivore. So we'll just see how everything goes. I don't have a lot of aches and pains, um, but I got runny nose, sneezing, you know. Like I said, I think it's just a cold. Did take some medicine, you know, took some uh, some Dayquil. I, I seem to respond well to, like, Dayquil and NyQuil, you know. So I'll probably chug some NyQuil um, at the end of the night. And uh, I know it's got some sugars and stuff in it, but hey, I mean, when it comes to medicine, man, I I don't really take a lot of, like, I'm not the type of person to take a lot of medication or anything. I don't, I don't really take any regular medication. And when it comes to, like, normally, like, I take Tylenol and Ibuprofen as, like, the two things I I ever I take. Um, I still have even my prescription of medication, um, painkillers from... Uh, when I was in the hospital, <laughs> so I just don't take a lot of pain medicine or just medicines in general. But when I get sick, Dayquil and Nyquil that it works for me. Um, some people like my wife; she seems to respond better to like Theraflu, even though, like I said, they're about identical. If you really look at a lot of these, they're they're very similar in a lot of things. But again, for whatever reason. Theraflu and um, like the daytime, nighttime, that works for her. And just Dayquil, Nyquil works for me. And I've tried Theraflu. Like I've tried, you know, because she was like, oh, let me make you one. I'll put some honey in it or something. Like this was back in the day. And it just didn't seem to quite, you know, get what I needed. And then when I did the Dayquil, it was like, it, it you know, patched me up. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I'm, um, so, as far as everything else goes today, um, I did eat pretty good. You know, I wanted to stay healthy, so I was eating some meat. For lunch, I had two. They're they're basically the size of hot dogs, but they're 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 hamburgers. They're they have a little bit of cheese in them, but they're actually like hamburger meat. But they're made in the shape of a a hot dog. I don't know. Some of you guys, maybe some of you have have those in wherever you're from. Um, but uh, at the gas station, they had those, and I didn't feel like hot dogs, so I had two of the the hamburger, cheeseburger-type things with no bun, of course. And um, I had those, and then for dinner, right here. Oh, right here. I got a picture. Um, so you can see I had hamburgers and bacon. And now bacon now, look, I made uh, bacon chips, and I also made regular bacon. The bacon chips were for, like, later, but, I, of course, I had, I snacked on probably uh, one and a half pieces of those, like, of bacon, or, or at least maybe a piece. I don't know. But I snacked at least on a piece of bacon, minimally, um, with the bacon chips. And then um, when it came time for the regular bacon for dinner, I think I had another four or five and a half. So it's like, I, you might as well just say six and a half just to be safe. So I had like six and a half pieces of bacon and those three burgers. I didn't quite finish the third one. I want to say I probably had like, I don't know, um, maybe half left, maybe. Um, so altogether, I would say, again, probably about 17 to 18 ounces of meat, if I had to guess. Of, of burger a um, little bit of hot sauce but I mostly really enjoyed the burger itself today with the with the salt pepper garlic um, salt pepper garlic and onion and um, onion powder and uh, some Tabasco uh, splashed in there so I, and then eggs and of course I mixed in some egg and I made it for the whole family so believe it or not the whole family ate keto except for me um, they had uh, a bed of lettuce with a burger on top and, you know, onion, like sliced onion, pickle, um, tomato, 
mustard, you know, stuff like that. So basically it was like a, a deluxe and bacon and they had like a deluxe burger with like no bun. So basically keto. So they had that. Um, and I just had carnivore with maybe a little bit of mustard, a little bit of hot sauce, but I, I, I just very use very little because I'm telling you the flavor of the burgers were so good. I just didn't really use much. I just didn't really want much hot sauce or, or anything tonight. Um, so that's about it as far as all that goes. Feeling wise, um, how did I feel today? You know, I felt okay. Again, it's, I don't know how I would feel if I wasn't carnivore. So there's kind of that weird thing. Um, so I don't know. I, but I feel okay. I feel like I'm functioning. I did go to work my day job. Now, my second job, I'm actually not going to go to because, you know, my first job, I, I, took some medicine but as the day progressed i barely made it through and i got home and um and i just don't i don't want to be on the road i didn't get much sleep last night so i don't want to be driving those couple hundred miles with medicine in me and not being on the road and it, it started getting chilly again so that means i'll have the heater on a little bit so you start adding all that together as you're driving down the road with lack of sleep a nice heater feeling oh yeah i'm gonna be falling asleep at the wheel so i just i decided to stay home and keep it safe thank you again for all your support your lovely comments um i try to send some love back to you guys so if you guys got some hearts from me from the late, latest comments um but i really appreciate it um what else i'm trying to think i'm just trying to make sure i cover the important stuff mostly it's just day 103 and just getting by again oh you know what i know what we need to do while while we're here is we really do i have my inspiration i have like a little shortcut for my inspirational quotes so let's look at another quote let's see what what's going to be good today okay here you go and some of you might know this name uh, walt whitman yeah. Well, let's see what old Walt Whitman Whitman has to say. Keep your face always toward the sunshine, and shadows will fall behind you. <laughs> there you go. Keep your face always toward the sunshine, and shadows will fall behind you. Okay. I don't even want to explain that because I think you guys know. I like to talk about those things and what it means to me. But I think on this one, I think um, we'll we'll leave this one for for your own pleasure. That, and I don't feel like talking much because I, I don't feel good. <laughs> so, all right, guys. You know, I love everybody out there. I love you guys. And thank you all for the support. And I'd probably talk more, but I'm just going to be resting and getting you know just just relaxing tonight all right guys we'll see you tomorrow day 104 and i'll keep you up keep you updated bye